everyone. My name is Chumaira Zakia. I'm from International Relations Batch 2017. Uh, in this video, I will be reviewing and will give my input on the chosen piece, Digital Democracy, Authentic or Virtual, by David Schlossberg and John Dreisack. So, in the past few decades, uh, we have seen that the existence of technology has continued to develop and become more advanced. To be quite specific, digital technology have changed the modes of various aspects of our daily life quite significantly. Um, starting from our social, cultural, economic, and including our political activities. Not only it increases the number of means of participation into civil society, but it also offers effectiveness. The presence of um, digital technology, such as the internet and the social media, has not only changed uh, the course of political communication strategy, but also how citizens participate in politics. The open and interactive nature of the internet has the potential to increase political participation whether um, citizens criticize or support a certain political policy. Democratic activities is then practiced beyond uh, just elected representatives who is deemed to be more uh, of an expert in its field. But it's also where civil society could actively engage in uh, democratic discussions. This utilization of such modern technology is what we all know today as digital democracy. However, among all of its benefits, the authors tries to address a more complex issue on digital democracy. Um, the conveniences that is offered by digital democracy lacks the opportunity for exchange of views. This opportunity then provides a one-way communication only. Uh, and this could be problematic because in contemporary democratic thinking, uh, it is believed that deliberation and authenticity is, is core values. One way electronic participation in which a citizen simply sends a message uh, presenting uh, their own preferences on certain political matters could leave us in an aggregated mode of democracy which is uh, considered to be a step back in democracy. Um, and the author stated that this means that there's no quote-unquote engagement with the positions of others as, uh, where it is required. In this sense, uh, people's participation in the internet or uh, in social media could uh, merely be as uh, a symbol only. Uh, all in all, uh, from this piece, I agree with the author's arguments and believe that these considerations could help us reevaluate the way we practice digital democracy and not let uh, the limitations of technology disrupt our democratic values because its uh, efficiency could undermine it. And we need to allow for exchanges between both people and the targeted agencies and create a two-way communication environment by um, creating, uh, for example, electronic for for forums and etc. So people could engage in a more effective and responsible discussions and debates. I think uh, that will be all from me. Thank you.